Welcome back everyone to another video. So as announced last year, we know GTA 5 will be getting another expanded and enhanced edition for the PS5 and Xbox Series X platforms, which will be released in the second half of 2021. This also includes a standalone version of GTA Online, which will continue on the new generation with more new updates exclusive to the new console and PC. And if you didn't know, we'll be free on PS5 for the first three months. Other than that information, we haven't really had any more information from Rockstar. However, in the latest GTA Online update, the Kyle Preco heist, there were some new lines of code that were added to the game files that hints at what we can expect when the new versions drop on PS5 and Xbox Series X. This new information was found and posted on the GTA forums by Alloc. 8, oh, I think I said that right, and Tez Funds 2, which are known in the community for finding very reliable information in the files of the game. So let's see what's been discovered. So GTA Online character transfer on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. So when it comes to character transfer, it looks like we might be seeing a repeat of what happened when the game released on PS4 and Xbox One, and then later on PC. A new struct was added to the game files called CH as character to transfer decision page, which seems to confirm an interface asking the player to transfer their assisting character. So according to this, assisting players will be able to transfer their GTA Online character and progression once again to either PS5 or Xbox Series X from any current platform. The struct does mention a decision, likely meaning that this will just be a one-time thing. Also, if the same happens again, when you transfer your character to PS5 or Xbox Series X, you can continue playing with your character on your PS4 or Xbox One, but the progress won't be shared between the two consoles. Could we see an enhanced GTA 5 using Red Dead Redemption 2's Rage engine? Well, another interesting stroke that was found in the game files with the latest GTA Online update is, which is Rage FWI Message Base, which is from the version of the Rage engine used in Red Dead Redemption 2. This could mean that the enhanced version of GTA 5 on PS5 and Xbox Series X could use the Adi Atu version of Rage Engine, which is obviously a lot more modern and advanced. Now, according to the opinion of the insiders that found these files, one major change would obviously be the graphics, which would be updated to look as good as they do on Red Dead Redemption 2. GTA 5 would also become a lot more optimized, smoother, and responsive when it comes to the performance of the overall game. We also should see high FPS and more polished textures. However, it is unknown whether there will also be an actual mechanical and gameplay changes. A gameplay overall is much more likely to be expected for GTA 6 rather than the enhanced version of GTA 5. Now, an improved user interface, another change that the Red Dead Redemption 2 Rage engine could bring is enhancements to the UI since that was improved on Red Dead Redemption 2. Now GTA Online could definitely benefit from an improvement to the user interface as many things feel outdated, especially with the huge amount of content that you have to go through. Now one thing we know for sure is that the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions will introduce a new landing page as there is a new structure called UI landing page underscore go to story mode. We can expect this interface to be similar to the one in Red Dead Redemption 2 where you start the game you can choose whether to go to story mode or GTA Online. There is also a new struct called C Story Mode Available Decision Page. This likely refers to a message that players of the standalone version of GTA Online will receive when they opt to also purchase the story mode of GTA 5. And that's exactly what happened when the standalone version of Red Dead Online was released. So some people created a GTA Online PS5 concept inspired by the Red Dead Online one. I'll show you this one, this video on screen, which you know, we could see the, the enhanced version looking like this when you first load up, it would be great, because I do like the UI for Red Dead. So this one's made by John M, and then the other one is made by Videotech, which do both look clean, and we could potentially see this for the enhanced version, but it's not confirmed. So hopefully Rockstar will release more information soon about the expanded and enhanced edition of GTA 5 and GTA Online. Like I said, the next gen version should release the second half of 2021. So we don't have too long to wait and we should get more information soon. But anyway, for more videos on 
GTA Online expanded and enhanced and even more beyond that. Hit the like button and subscribe for more so you don't miss a thing. And hit that bell so you definitely don't miss a video and I'll see you in the next video.